I need to grease right now. And the humidity is really high. So even in the shade, we're kind of in the shade here, so uh, even in the shade, it's hot right now. And this little fan just doesn't do it. It's moving the air, but it's moving hot air around. It's just recirculating what's already hot. So, well, one thing I can do in this cabin to get any kind of relief. Okay, so the only way that I can think of uh, to cool myself down is y'all remember my water source, which is what they call a coal bank. And it is water that comes from underground. It's like an underground stream, basically. And it just runs up through this hose and comes out right there. Now, what I've been doing, got a paper towel, just get it wet. You can hold it on the back of your neck and cool down a little bit. And, Oh, I mean, it feels really, really good because this water that comes out of here, especially if you let it run just a minute, I think it's whatever the temperature of the ground is, like uh, 50, 55, 56 degrees, whatever the temperature of the ground is, that's what the temperature of this water is. And compared to 90 degrees in here, this water is cool. And it almost feels like air conditioning. I see. What I was trying to come up with, now, the thing is, I would like to be able to cool myself down some way, and see this water is really cool, almost like air conditioning. I got it. I know what to do. All right. Now, these are some of the things that I've got an idea that I can make work okay we got this little fan pretty much all it really does is just moves a little bit of air around I mean it blows okay it, it blows a pretty decent amount of air but it's not blowing cold air it's blowing the same temperature air that's in the room which is I don't think it's up to 90 in here yet but it it's it's, it's not real far from it so what I was thinking is if we run, put this in front of the fan, basically. I need a bigger one, but this is all I got. This is more of an experiment to see. I've done something similar to this in the past, and it worked. And it worked really well. But this is more of just an experiment to see how uh, just using the water itself and letting it just escape on down the hill, see how good of a job that will do to cool me down. Kind of make like uh, geothermal air conditioning. And what we've got is this is an old heater core. Came out of something, I'm not sure. I don't remember why I took it out. It doesn't seem to leak unless that, unless I patched it with something. I don't know. I don't remember. It was just laying around. But if I can run that water through this and then blow air across it, it should cool down the air as it passes. And we have plenty of water, because if you remember when I was doing or showing my water, how I was setting everything up, there was plenty of water that was just running around the hose and coming out around it and stuff. So most of the water is not even going in here at all. Most of it is just going, running right by the cabin and keeping on going. So, yeah, that's kind of a waste. Because I could be getting some of that, that cool water to run through and help me to remove some of the heat from this cabin. Now, this will probably not cool the whole cabin off, but this may be a good little personal cooling device.
Okay, so what we have here is basically I built a box and housed the little uh, heater core in it and also the fan and the fan will blow down into the box and through the heater core and it should blow nice cool air out. Only thing to do now is to try it out. Okay, so what do we have now? We have our fan on the top blowing air down into this insulated box. Right here we have the it's blowing a little air out. I need a more powerful fan, but it is working. And it actually feels it actually feels pretty good. Alright, now what we're doing is of course this is a temporary setup. And we have this tied in right here. And I'm gonna turn the water on. Okay, the water is coming through this hose, going up into the unit here, going in, you can see the hose going there, goes through this heater core, of course, with the air blowing in through here, over the heater core, and the other hose comes back out. And it's coming right back down through here and going out to here. Need to get a little bit more hose. Okay, and as you can see, the water is running out right here. And that is, that water feels hot. The reason why is because the water coming from the inside is running through that little heater core and the heater core is extracting the heat from the room and it's running out this hose as the heat energy escaping now the water coming in to that heater core uh it's, it's around 60 degrees i guess um i guess if it keeps flowing it should get down to about uh, 55, 56, something like that. Because the temperature of the water is usually right around 56 degrees. If you leave it, just sit and run. Let's try it out and see. Okay, I guess put this up a little higher here so you can see what the temperature is in here. It's like 86, 87 degrees. But down lower, it's more like 82 or 83. So, what is the difference in temperature of the water coming off the hill and the uh, the temperature of the cabin. Okay, I'm going to run. Let's see, how can I do this where y'all can see it? Okay, so now it's got it. That's got the camera focused onto the meter. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the water and I'm going to run it over the meter. And I've got my little meter lead right here. This is showing pretty much what the temperature in here is. Now, I'm going to take this meter, this meter lead and I'm going to stick it in a stream of this water let it run just a minute until it gets cooled down enough there it goes there it goes Yeah, see, 56, 55, that is how cold that water is as it comes out of the hill. Okay, right here, putting the probe right up here around this, and we've got 82, 81, 82, 83, 
82. Okay. Now, so it is pretty warm in here. Okay, now how much temperature change are we getting right here? Okay, blowing out at 71. 72. I guess the longer it runs, the cooler it will get. But it seems to be cooling pretty good. It seems to be cooling pretty decent for what it is. Um, feels really good coming out of there. I think now I might be able to actually get some stuff done on the computer. Okay, I am not super confident in this system's ability to cool the entire cabin down. Um, I think it's more of a personal cooler, but we'll just try and experiment anyway. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shut my windows and close the door. Okay, now we're shut all up. This this one's already shut. And of course, you know, this cabin is not perfect uh, as far as the insulation and stuff goes. Also, curtains on the windows would help a lot. 85, 84 in here. That's just the temperature, the ambient temperature of the air, I guess. That's showing 82. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thing run. Ah, that is amazing. <laughs> that feels... Oh, shoot. Now, this right here is working very well. I would like to build a better one, possibly a bigger one, but I think this little heater core might be pretty good, at least for personal cooling. I mean, this feels great. This, is, this feels like an air conditioner. <laughs> it actually feels like an air conditioner. That is very nice. Let's see what time we have. It's 1 o'clock. Now, I'm going to sit here, fool around on the computer, and uh, just kind of sit around and enjoy this nice cool air blowing on me. And then we will check the ambient temperature of the cabin again after, well, we'll try it again at about 1, we'll, we'll give it 1.30. We'll give it a half an hour and see if this by itself can cool down the entire cabin. I don't know that it will, but I think it's worth a try. You know, I mean, it feels great blowing on me right here. It's a great personal cooler. Very impressed with that, actually. All right, while I'm sitting here, Weighing and seeing how much it's going to cool this cabin down. And this right here in this area is really, really nice right now. So I really don't want to leave this area. This is really, uh, yeah, really nice. But while I'm sitting here waiting for the cabin to cool down to whatever it's going to cool down to, um, I'd like to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Audible. Uh, Audible is actually offering my viewers a free audiobook and 30 days to try out their service for free. Uh, all you got to do, go to the link in the description or right here um, or up here. It'll be somewhere. Um, go to the link, 
And the link is www.audibletrial.com slash Luke Fugit. And no spaces in between Luke and Fugit. I love Audible. I use Audible all the time uh, when I'm driving in my car or the bus. Uh, sometimes just sitting up here relaxing. I just have an audio book just playing. And it's a great way to sit. And you can learn stuff. You can just sit and relax to a good story. Um, the books I have been listening to here lately, and I've actually, it's like my third or fourth time listening to the whole series. Uh, Y'all know I'm a big sci-fi nerd. There is a book series called Omega Force, and is written by Joshua Dalzell. It's kind of, I guess, like a, if y'all remember the old A-Team show, remember, you know, they went around helping people and they were kind of fugitives and all that too. Um, well, it's kind of like A-Team, but they're in space. Uh, the narrator, Paul Hatch, he reads all the different parts with different voices that really gives a personality to each character that you easily identify with. Anyway, let's see what kind of temperatures we're getting now because it feels really good in here. Okay, well it is 135 right now. And this thing has been running now for about 30 minutes. And it's still, well, I think it's got even colder. <laughs> it feels like it has. But, all right, I've had the door and the windows shut. Close this computer down. All right. Now, what has our temperature gotten to now? So that it is getting temperature that's up higher. Right now, up higher, it was like, it's dropped like 10 degrees. Actually, like 12. It's nice and cool in here right now. And uh, really, I don't see how that small of a thing is uh, cooling it in here that much. I mean, it does, it, it feels cold. I guess it's where it's just recirculating the air over and over. Because it does, you know, it's that's a very small thing. You would think you would need something the size of a big window unit to actually cool this much space. It is probably still pretty warm up there, up in the loft, I would say. But on this lower level, uh, it feels really nice right now. And like I said, it has dropped. It's, it's like one thirty, hottest part of the day, and it is lower 70s in here <laughs> and it is just you know I'm enjoying this now alrighty well I guess uh, well I guess that's going to be a successful little test of my little geothermal air conditioner system it is working extremely well for what it is, I think I could get a more powerful fan, and it would do even better. Uh, but it is definitely doing the trick. It really makes it nice in here. And the good thing is, the water is gravity feed, so there's no pump running, uh, no energy being used to run the water through this little radiator. This thing right here, this fan, 120 volts, 60 hertz, at half an amp. So this is only pulling a half an amp. And it is, uh, it's cooling the whole cabin. <laughs> I love it. That is, that is wonderful. But this place gets so hot. But now, I have an air conditioner, and it only uses half of an amp. 
to run an air conditioner and cool the cabin down. Now, I will probably end up getting a little bit more powerful motor because I think it would actually help. I think it would cool it down more if I had a more powerful fan. It would actually, um, I think it would actually be a little bit better. But, it's cooling it down, it works, and I can enjoy my time up here during the day now. I have plenty of power with the solar. I don't have enough to run an air conditioner, of course, but I, this is my air conditioner now. Just spring-fed air conditioner, geothermal, and it is working. <laughs> anyway... I guess that's probably going to be about it for this video. Done about all the damage I can do today. I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you all on the next one.